Hello Aquarius. Yeah, I, I would like to say the good times are rolling for you. I'm not going to say it's not, but it's just, you know, this is not quite the time yet. Okay, they're, they're coming, but it's like, we got to revisit our spiritual vision, what we originally had. You know, what we've been presenting to others for the last several months. It's something, but we have to revisit it to really solidify it in our minds. This is the spiritual life that I value. What do we know about Virgo time for Aquarians? Well, it's the eighth house. Eighth house is transformation. Sometimes it's ego crushing situations. Sometimes it's getting into debt. Sometimes it's actually having other people help you out though, being open to it and getting money from somebody else to say, hey, here it is. You know, it's not like some ego building thing, but you know what? We're all interdependent beings. We all need each other for different things. And some people are better at producing than others, you know. And, I think sometimes those of us who are producers, you know, we resent the people we think of that are cart people or bottom suckers. <laughs> so what's, this, what's he's talking about the carp again? <laughs> you know how it is, that fish, it's just, you know, they're on the bottom like the catfish. So, um, you know, allow yourself to feel more joy even though you're going through a hard time and ask for help when you need it that's the real thing about this this is kind of like a more humbling transit and a lot of people fear it but it's not really all that bad because you know what you can get help from other people you don't have to you know and sometimes you won't get the help but that's part of the eighth house if you can just roll with other people's decisions or misdecisions and you're fine you know you don't have to own it 